What's going on, everybody? So, you know, every week we get some new comics, new videos on them over here. And there's always some Spider-Man books, no matter what. This week, I got two, Superior Spider-Man and the main Amazing Spider-Man. But you know, there was still more. You could have got that War of the Realms Spider-Man garbage, City of War, which is literally just taking the story of the PS4 game and turning it into a comic book. It's like, so if you already played the game, you're getting nothing new here. Nothing new. But, you know, for for Marvel, hey, that's new money. New money for Big Daddy Pimp and Marvel. Treat Spider-Man like he's a streetwalker. I like that thumbnail I made last week for that video. <laughs> is, is, he a, is, he a, is he a streetwalker for Big Daddy Marvel? Because it kind of seems like it. It kind of seems like it. But... The nice thing is most of them are – some of the – well, not all of them, but most of them are decent books actually, which is funny because I don't understand why so many of their books suck. I was thinking today, it seems like – you know what books are consistently usually pretty decent when it comes to Marvel Comics? The street-level characters. Daredevil's good. Venom's good. Spider-Man's good. Uh, some people seem to like Punisher. I don't care for that one, but – it seems like their street level characters, for the most part, are decent. And then their high powered characters, except for Immortal Hulk, that book's pretty good. But like the rest of them with some power, they don't know what to do with them. Maybe that's just me, but it's something that I was thinking about earlier. So, yeah. Anyway, Amazing Spider Man 22. This is the end of the whole Hunted arc. And. There's going to be spoilers and stuff in this, but I was exactly right. Uh, spoilers, spoilers. I said Craven was going to die, and he sure as hell did at the end. He did die. Uh, he had a good death, actually. His, his uh, younger clone killed him. I knew that was going to happen. Now, I didn't know the clone was going to kill him, but I knew he was going to go out. So, like, Spider-Man kind of does a speech and gets through to him like hey this isn't the way like what you're doing and he ends up seeing like oh maybe it's the man inside of the spider that gives him his strength so he goes to a casket and he puts on the black suit and he goes and fights his son and his son kills him and he realizes it and he's like oh no and you get this good like nice picture at the end with all of, like the little clone Gravens when he had his little family. And uh, it seems like that was kind of his way to regret it. I liked it. Uh, this has been a really good series. This is uh, Nick Spencer's first event with Spider-Man. And I think he did a pretty good job. He's got one more coming. Now, I don't know if it's going to be on this scale, but there's that mystery villain that looks like he's going to kill MJ. He won't kill MJ, but, you know, it's going to be a good tale with MJ in danger, real classic throwback tale, really. Anytime you have something like that, and we haven't got something like that in a long time because Dan Slott never touched Mary Jane for 10 years. <laughs> kind of like how he hasn't touched a woman himself in 10, well, probably his whole life, huh? <laughs> Old Dan Slott. He's like that American pie kid. Like, that's all he's ever gotten. <laughs> Maybe that's why he likes pie so much. It's not... <laughs> Ah, oh, man. Poor old, poor old Danny boy. I don't like Dan Slott. I think he's an ass. But anyway, um, I don't know if there's going to be one more issue in this because this looks like Craven's clone, the new Craven, basically, because the old one's dead now. Uh, it's going to come in and try to take him down. I don't know what's going to happen there. Obviously, he's going to probably make his mark, let him know, like, Craven is still coming. For all intents and purposes, that's the new Craven. So. There's uh, there's no need to bring him back because he is essentially still Craven. He's just a younger version of him. So after that, we should get that weird, um, weird alien looking scorpion crossover character that's been stalking Peter Parker for the past 22 issues because he's laid the groundwork for that character like right away. So we should find out about him soon. I'm guessing. See, this is how you know that he's went back and read like old Spider-Mans because he's like weaving in like a long-term character to have like a big showdown. Reminds me of when they used to put Craven in 
once in a while. Not Craven, but uh, Kane. And like kind of tease him in the shadows. It's good old school fun, man. Way better than Dan Slot's crap. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Uh, Zach, get some better bed sheets. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.